Good morning, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell. Uh, I'm sitting here in Love's in Hamill, Illinois. I just opened up this curtain here. Um, I'm on the tail end of a 10 hour break. And uh, let's see what we got remaining time. Seven hours and 18 minutes to get to my 90. Um, I just had a weird sensation. I, I dropped Melissa off at the terminal this morning, early this morning. Oh, God, I don't know what time it was. Midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, 1.30. And I, I went ahead and drove, and I was really tired. I didn't sleep well the night before. I haven't been sleeping good because, I don't know, I'm, I'm just thinking about this whole virus thing. And uh, I'll say I'm, uh, you know, I'm a little panicky over it. I, I keep finding myself inhaling deeply to make sure, okay, my lungs feel okay, my lungs don't hurt. Um, but... You know, it, it, this is one of those things that reality is kicking in. It's like, well, wait a minute. You know what? This is... What the hell is this guy doing? Did he just stall his truck? Um, that was weird, but okay. You know, reality's kicking in. This is a real deal. You know, there's, there's, this is a bad, bad situation. And, you know, I got a lot of family out there, and I sit and think, oh my God, I hope they're being safe. Um, I just put my thumb in my mouth, and now I'm freaked out that I just killed myself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to run. I, I, I'm heading to Michigan. Um, once I get to Michigan and drop this load tomorrow, this delivers at 11 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. Um, I'll be getting there to mo tonight at about uh, midnight or so. And there's parking there, and I'll just do my uh, I'll do my 10-hour break there. And then deliver it in the morning. Unless they take it tonight. It does say if they're not busy, they'll tell you they'll drop it early. It's just 21 bins of slop. Um, I'm not, I, yeah, it's, it's just stuff. So it's going to be a quick onload and a quick count because it's 21 items, 21 pallets. You know, there's no counting boxes or anything. And then at that point, I believe I'll be getting a load heading back to uh, Springfield. Um, it would be nice if he got me a load, let's say, going to Texas or something that had a little extra time on it. So I could pick it up, go to Springfield, spend a day in Springfield with Melissa, get her familiar with the truck and everything, and then get on the road with her. Otherwise, I guess, yeah, we can just drop whatever's going there and then, uh, and then take it from there. Am I excited to train Melissa? Yes, I'm excited to train Melissa. I would be more excited if we weren't having the issues in the world that we are having now. Um, the world being the way it is, is taking a lot of joy. I mean, it's taken a lot of joy out of things for me, I guess you could say. I'll try to get my phone in a different spot here. So all kinds of places I can put it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's all kinds of places I can put it, but I can't put it. Uh, let's whip out the stand here. No, oh, that's too high. What the hell, people? I guess we'll just stay right there. 
there. So yeah, with the the world the way it is, it, it takes a lot of the the fun out of things. You know, it's like. Should I even be concentrating on on anything but delivering product and trying to say stay healthy? You know, should I even be worried about videos or things like that? Um, you know, should the YouTube channel go on? Should there, you know, should anybody be messing around with YouTube at a time like this? Um, I don't know, it's just a lot of things been going through my mind about uh, the way the world is. And it's like, well, does anyone even want to watch YouTube right now? All they want to do is watch the news. Should I even be out here? Should I have left Melissa? Should I go gather Melissa up, park the truck, turn the truck in and go, you know, go to Arkansas and be with my daughter? These are all questions that run through my mind and keep me up at night. It's like, why can't they run through my mind while I'm driving and keep me up while I'm driving? No. You're tired. You go, oh, I'm tired. I need to sleep. And then you go lay down to sleep and you're up all night thinking about freaking coronavirus, COVID-19. When's Miley Cyrus's next hit coming out? You know, this COVID stuff is just crazy. Then I'm reading on Facebook that the FMCSA is pleading with truck stops to stay open 24 hours. Could you imagine if truck stops said, screw it, we're, we're limiting things? You know, you can only get fuel between this time and this time because we're closing you know we're not going to be staying open 24 hours do you imagine that nowhere to get fuel nowhere to get take showers it's already hard getting something to eat you know most of the restaurants are closed you know they're limited hours and take out only so you got to eat in the truck and then it's like well do i even want to go in there and get the corona food Every freaking breath I take. I feel. It's like, oh, thank God. I don't, I mean, I don't feel I think of. It's like, okay, there's no weirdness, no, no bad feeling. One of the things that's been going on my, you know, been, been on my mind for a while is, you know, I haven't been sick in a while. Um... And I usually get sick once a year. And uh, I haven't been sick in a while, so am I due to get sick? And if I, get, I started getting the sniffles the other day, it scared the hell out of me. Um, you know, it's like, uh, am I due to get sick if I get sick? And, you know, because get, I'll, I'll get chest colds where my chest feels like it's burning for a day or two. And it's like, well, what if I get that? Well, I think I have the coronavirus. Do, 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 am I going to die? Am I... Is somebody around me going to shoot me or burn me or, or, or kill me because they think I'm running around with a virus? I mean, these are all just stupid things that run through my mind. Um, what's the world going to be like in a year? Is there going to be a handle on this? When are people going to go back to work? When are schools going to reopen? 
is this going to bankrupt the, uh, uh, the United States? If everybody's staying home and they're going to send out checks, what are people still working? Do they get checks? You know, the grocery store employees. You know, a lot of people, thank you, truck drivers, for, you know, thank you, truck drivers, for staying out there and doing your thing. Well, you know what? Thank you, Mr. Pilot employee, for keeping, you know, for working here and keeping the truck stop open. Let's not forget, let's not forget, you know, the other people. Yeah, truck drivers are in their trucks a lot, you know, and they, 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 they're, they're not going home every night like these other guys, but these other without these other guys, trucks couldn't run, you know. If there was no truck stop, if the truck stops all closed down, repair shops closed down, we're done. Trucks are done. They're parked. So let's not forget the, uh, let's not forget everybody. Let's thank everybody that's coming to work and keeping America moving the best they can. Watching this go, what's this guy doing over here? Now, checking my route last night. I'll check it again. It looks like there's going to be light snow going through Indiana. Uh, probably nothing major. It's called for light snow. But one never knows. It's funny. I've been down south for a few days, you know, for a week or two. No, it hasn't been that long. It's only been a week. Yeah, we went from up there. But it seems like we were there forever. In that beautiful weather of 80, 90 degrees sometimes. It was 90, 90 degrees one day in Texas. Both the Loves guys in this pickup truck pulling a trailer with trash cans in it. Both of them have their phones in their hands while he's driving his truck around. He's looking at his phone. The passenger's got on his phone. It's like, come on, guys. You're going to run into somebody and run somebody over. What the hell? But anyways, that's my thoughts for today. You know, this this freaking world we live in is spooky right now, guys. All we can do is be strong and keep going. Don't give up. Hopefully I'm not sitting here doing a video in a year going, well, it sucks, it never got better, and now there's nothing. I'm living under a rock in the desert. <laughs>